Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the cross product. So, right here I'm showing an example from the content examples that Epic Games provides to us. And I'm using the math hall section. Now there's a large section that covers vector math. And it's really useful to go over if you need to use, well, learn vector math or you need a refresher on vector math itself. So let's cover the cross product itself. So as you can see here, the cross product will take two vector inputs and then will return a vector that is perpendicular to both of the inputs. Now, in terms of actual use, it's useful if you want to find something that's perpendicular to something else. Maybe you need to find, based on the camera angle, the normal angle, something like that. So in our example here, we have our red, which might represent the camera, for example. And then we have the blue, which might represent up. And we want to know, based on that, what is going to be our perpendicular angle to both of these. And in this example, it'll be our green. And if I zoom around here, you can actually see it in use. We have one angle, another angle, and our perpendicular result is going to be green. Now, cross product, if you're going to use it, you're going to know you're going to use it. It's, it's a vector math function, and it's got very specific uses. So in terms of Unreal Engine 4, it's pretty simple. The cross product node has two inputs, the A and the B, and then outputs another output. Now you need to make sure when you're using the cross product, it's going to be two three-channel vectors because that's what it's expecting. In our example here, to further illustrate what I showed before, we're inputting red and green and we're getting back blue. We're getting the exact perpendicular output. For a really weird usage example of this, what I'm doing here is I'm taking our camera position, the position of our camera in the world, and I'm crossing that against the up vector, or the, which is why it's blue, the Z vector. And what that does is, depending on how my camera is and what I'm looking at, as well as where I'm at in the world, I'm getting back your different result. You know, black if it's something out of range, red if it's more along the x-axis, green if it's more along the y-axis, blue if it's more along the z-axis, and you can see your different variations here. And it's all based on where the camera's at, how the camera's looking at it, our angles, and it's giving us back a result of a perpendicular angle. Now, I'm going to admit, it's, it's hard to find a good cross product result example, unless you're using it for something very specific, very math heavy, trying to get back something. Maybe you want to have some waves and you want to make sure that depending on the way the player is looking at it, you're getting spray in the proper direction or something like that. You want to get back the perpendicular result of both of your inputs. Or it's a good way, for example, to add some bias to maybe a normal map where you need to know the normal direction. So that is what our cross product node is for. Like I said, it's very specific. It's very, it has its very specific uses. And if you know you need to use it, there it is. That's how you use it, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.